teams. The heart of Ohio. Valley Sports Great Lakes and Valley Sports Ohio. The heart of the fan. After an emotional night and victory in the season opener Thursday, Blue Jackets goaltender Elvis Berzlikens is back in the net tonight for Columbus. On the other side, an unfamiliar foe with familiar faces. The Seattle Kraken, fresh off their first ever win in franchise history. It's Kraken versus the Blue Jackets on Valley Sports. Nationwide tonight. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jeff Reber, high above the ice surface. Jody Shelley between the benches. And Jody, what a memorable opening <laughs> night for the Jackets on Thursday. Ah, the script was perfect and they executed it to a T. The Blue Jackets came out, the building was full of emotion. And this was immediately after the ceremony stopped. 40 seconds in, they get that perfect start with that goal right away. That crowd was fired up. This was to start the second period, even in less time. Puck in the back of the net. Elvis Merzlikens wearing that familiar number 80 to honor his buddy Matisse Kivlenix who had passed. Everything came together. Scored a lot of goals. Brad Larson got his first victory as a head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets in the National Hockey League. A lot of big smiles the other night, Jeff. Oliver Bjorkstrand warming up for this one after a career-high four-point night Thursday, including a pair of goals. Oh, he's a leader. Look at the A on that jersey. Well-deserved. He's been through the entire process. Scored goals in junior. It was easy. Get to the NHL, he had to adapt. And now he's elite. He understands Zach Wierenski when he's got his head up. Put your stick on the ice and go to the net. What a night he had. Two goals, two assists. He was all around it, including this one. And now he mentioned this was just a dump-in. But hey, the celebration says it all. The look on his face, like, well, I'll take it. Yeah, take it, Oliver. Nice goal, nice start to the season. Our first ever look at the Kraken as they make their way out onto the ice here at Nationwide for the first time, coming off their first victory. And how about Brandon Tanev? There he is. Yeah, and Tanev came over in the expansion draft from Pittsburgh, and he's a menace. He's a guy you'll notice every time he's on the ice. But he started well here in the second game and the first win ever in franchise history. Picked up two goals, blowing kisses to the crowd. That was on the power play, by the way, for the third line spark plug. And here, empty netter. They got the victory and the line that he plays with. They've been very effective to start. They've got Geeky in the middle. He was drafted to Carolina. Ron Francis, the general manager now of the Kraken, was in Carolina. Loves him. He's a big guy in the middle. Donato, he's a player that was a free agent signing. And then Tana with those scary eyes, he's going to be staring at you all night, <laughs> Jeff. Look out for him. Offensive right now, but he knows his role. Effective on the forecheck, plays into identity. This line plays hard. Uh, they're ready for tonight. First ever meeting between Seattle and Columbus. Saturday night hockey on Valley Sports. Columbus Blue Jackets Hockey, brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. And by Gallagher Sharp Defense Firm. With four offices across Ohio and Michigan, Gallagher Sharp is your litigation and business law firm that provides solutions and not surprises. Columbus Blue Jackets nationwide arena as the Jackets with Saturday Night Hockey look to go 2-0 in this young National Hockey League season. So here we are getting 
Duke said it nationwide. Another great crowd on hand for this one. Before puck drop, here's Jody Shelley with tonight's Toyota Keys. Yes, the keys to tonight for the Blue Jackets coming off that night's victory. Key number one, quick, clean exits. Get out of the zone. The Kraken want to jump. They want to forecheck. There's going to be pressure. There wasn't a lot of excitement about the details of the game. Get out early. On time arrivals. You're going to forecheck. Don't be the guy that's chasing all night. Get there early. Surprise the Kraken. That's what the Blue Jackets have to do. You want to get there on time and get that puck. And then, of course, eight goals the other night. That cannon. It just didn't stop. So tonight, keep that thing firing, especially against the, the Kraken, a mystical creature of the sea. Our starting goaltender is Elvis Berzlikens, second consecutive start coming off that big win. And Philip Grubauer, last year an outstanding season with Colorado, signed as a free agent. And in between the pipes tonight for Seattle. Glad you've joined us for Saturday Night Hockey's a play off the wall. Nyquist had it briefly. Seattle throw it to the point, but the Jackets break that up, and here's Bjorkstrand across the line and offside the call. The long reach there of Alexi at six foot seven, and Bjorkstrand gets a puck in the middle of the ice. He's feeling it, and he gets it. Alexiak uses that stick to stop the play. So quick change here, but good momentum to start this for the Blue Jackets. The energy in the building, the fans, a buzz here on Saturday night in Columbus, Ohio. Face off just outside Seattle territory. This is Giordano. Yes, acquired in the expansion draft from Calgary. Formerly their captain. He's the captain for the Kraken as well. A cross ice pass. Here come the Jackets. Into Seattle territory. Line it. Gets their first beats to Kraken for the puck. Voracek flips a backhand up high. Wierenski. He'll chip it off the wall. Jackets play it from the corner. It's off his skate. Voracek neatly gets away. Tried to walk to the front of the net. Poke check there. High attempt to clear. And the puck in pursuit there is Schwartz, the former St. Louis Blue. Rink wide. Line A. Patrick Line A now at the line. And it's chopped away by Lozan. Geeky in pursuit. Can't make the play. Tanev will drop it back. Along the board. Lozan. Donato across the line, tries to weave through in between two defensemen. This is Sillinger playing his second National Hockey League game as a young 18-year-old. Domi, long left wing pass off his stick. Whipped around the board, saved there, shot towards the net. Second effort by Jake Bean, fought off by Donato, and it's cleared to center ice. Scott Harrington did not play opening night. He's in the lineup tonight in place of Dean Kukin. Paired with Peak. It's on to Peak. Blue Jackets hold up. Peak now steps to the line, looks, banks one off the wall. It's chipped ahead, but quickly cleared by Lozan. And back once more into Columbus territory. This time, though, an icing call. Brad Larson, head coach of the Columbus Blue Jackets, first season in this position and got his first win the other night had to be a relief for him he, as coach talk after the game the 8-2 win wasn't happy with the details training camp he liked the way they performed their systems a four check the neutral zone getting there on time and he wasn't happy with those things so he understands even in a win you got to coach and make sure things are on check especially for tonight here coming in against the kraken face off to grubauer's right from the draw. One cleanly by Shahan. Puck dumped in. Gavrikov here in a bit of a foot race with Appleton. Shahan in front. Boquist, a little house cleaning in front of Elvis Brzlikens. And it's Boquist now. Throws it up the left wing. Touch pass there for Line. Just missing. As Dick Vorchak attempted to feed him. He'll try again. Vorchak. Boquist. Voracek first across the line, hands it there to Texier. Texier walks in, fires a shot. It was deflected wide. Quickly, Voracek heels to the point, whipped around the wall, and Boquist will step up. Jayan drops it. Larson across the line, broken up there by Gavrikov. Voracek circles his own net, puck left there for Line. Gavrikov, Boquist. Pressure coming. Two on the forecheck. For Seattle. Lorchek. 
for Line A. That pass failed to click. Giordano sends it ahead across the line, moving in, shot deflected wide, off the stick of Barre Boulay. Yes, the former Tampa Lightning. Boulay picked up off waivers early on in this season. Wenberg gets it back. The former Blue Jacket. Last season, 17 goals for the Florida Panthers. Giordano, Wenberg, puck thrown in front, off his skate. Hustling here is Line. He'll send it up, but not out. Giordano right on, stick save. Elvis. Seattle keep the pressure on. Jack, it's finally able to clear, and it's fired up out of the Seattle bench. So oh, apology there from Patrick Line. End of the shift. He did end up putting that puck in the uh, Kraken bench. Here's Elvis Merzlikens. Strong on his post. See, he's just tracking the puck there. Great job in front by Boquist to stay with that backdoor player. And how about follow the bouncing puck? And Grubauer, Grubauer does there. Look like it just faded away from him. But two great goalies here tonight. Grubauer in the running for the Vesna Trophy just last season. Couldn't get a contract done. And he ends up signing with the Kraken on a free agent deal. McCann looks to walk out of the corner. He throws it right out of the stick of the Blue Jackets, and it's Nyquist who backhands ahead. Lozon is there defending. And now Fleury, left wing. McCann off the wall. Warinsky finds some room and bounces it deep. It'll be an icing call here against the Blue Jackets. Dave Hackstall, first coach of the Seattle Kraken. Remember, he was with the Philadelphia Flyers for three seasons out of the University of North Dakota where he played. He was a captain, longtime coach there. Was in Toronto as an assistant, really took care of the defensive details there and likes his group, likes the way they're playing right now. It's early in the season, but he's got some big boys, not a lot of old veterans, but a nice mix here that they picked up. And what they did not pick up in the expansion Jody, they were able to facilitate with free agent signings a total of six. Tan has been deep, and it's onside. Vlasovic finishes a check. Oleksiak with a shot. Dropping in front of that was Peek, and he's in a little difficulty. And he gets a pat on the back there from Elvis. Yeah, Elvis went way out of his way to say thank you for that one. Or maybe he said, you don't need to do that. I can do it. I have all the equipment <laughs> on. But anyways, great play, and... Good to see Elvis go say thank you very much for laying out. Here's the pass up high. You can see everyone's down low there, and that allows Alexia to D to get right inside the top of the circles. And that's just a reaction from Peak to get down to block that shot. Well played. Blue Jackets win the defensive zone faceoff, and the puck is sent down. Giordano, a quick feed. They have. They have. Appleton on the wing here. Puck comes to Giordano, fans on the shot, it gets through, and Shayan shot. It just stick the side. Seattle pursuing the puck here. Jackets cross the line, but turn it over. Five plus gone. Giordano will hold as Seattle complete a line change, as do the Blue Jackets. Puck sent in, Gabrikov, Corrali, Boquist. Gabrikov will throw it up the left wing looking for Robinson there. The puck is sent in deep. Grubauer looking for an icing call, none forthcoming here. From the point, Boquist, oh, it deflected. Grubauer able to track it down, a second shot. He got a piece of that. Out of the net, now it's a jackets throw it in front, and it sails up high between the defense and all the way back into Columbus territory. Right idea by Robinson. He can see that Grubauer was way outside of his net, outside the post, and he had bodies in front, maybe looking for a bank or even a stick, but it didn't connect. Oleksiak sends it to center. Across the line, Eberle. Eberle, right there with McCann. Eberle fights off a check. Backhands it to the right point for Larson. Eberle now, walks out. Cycle going here. Crunching check along the wall, much to the delight of the crowd from Corrali. Centering pass, Eberle, top of the circle, drops it back. Larson, Schwartz, Eberle. Oleksiak goes from the left point to the right point, looking for a pass there. Eberle hanging out of the puck, Jackets defend. That's McCann, drilled there. 
by Corrali. Gavrikov now will send it up, but not out. Puck is kept in. Behind the net, Alexiak. Big rangy defenseman off the point. Everly centers a pass. Right there, the Blue Jackets defend. Larson, keep it in. Territorial edge here. And a big stop there once more by Elvis with a shot from the point. Jackets finally able to walk it out to center. And Robinson dumps it the rest of the way. Yeah, nice job by the Blue Jackets here. No shots. Just that last one. Elvis collected it. But a bend, don't break mentality. Didn't take a penalty. And no scoring chances. So a great job defensively to stick with it. Backhanded by Donato. Right up out of the Columbus bench. And we get a break and step aside. Seattle with the edge here early into tor territorial play, but we are scoreless. Well taken. How about Elvis Merzlik and showing up the other night, ready to play? And this is what he said after the game. It was my most important game. I didn't want to embarrass the number for my first and last game that I wear that number here in Columbus. He wore the 80 in honor of Matisse Kivlenix, who passed tragically this summer and he got the win and he was full of emotion. What a guy, what a night for the Blue Jackets. Great opening night, to say the least. Most goals in franchise history to open the season. Approaching the eight minute mark. Buck deep in cracking territory as Giordano moves it along. Long shot blocked in front of Grubauer. Played off the wall. Seattle able to clear the zone. Lorensky had it briefly. Wenberg with a quick feed to the right wing. But the Jackets come up with it. Bean. Lorensky. Long pass here for Bjorkstrand. Walking in. Oliver fanned on the first attempt to get it to Roslovic. Oleksiak finishes a check. Wenberg is there. Wenberg. Oh, dangerous play. And it's Grubauer to chop it away. Oleksiak all over Roslovic. Former Dallas star, signed as a free agent. Peak will hold up. Looks to the right wing. Off the stick of Jenner, tapped back by Geeky. D to D for Seattle. And now Brandon Tanu. Boone Jenner. Moving in, long shot, stick to side. It was Harrington in off the point. Larson, not looking there. Domi got hit. He's in a little difficulty here. And he's going to head back to the bench. No, now he seems to be all right. Jenner waved over to the bench. Next man up, looking to come on the ice. But Domi remains on after that solid hit. He'll take the seat now. Flurry. Nice little tender as he gets back to the bench here to my right, and that was a big hit, maybe the first big one since he did have that shoulder surgery and repairs in the offseason. Yeah, it kind of buckled a little bit. But... No, you're still tentative, I and mean, it's just, you never really get comfortable until you hit a few times and understand that it's obviously still going to hurt a little bit. Here comes Texier across the line, a centering pass. Following up, Line A could not settle that puck down, and Seattle clear. Crowd looking for a scoring chance there. Line A, Borchek, right back to Line A in the corner. Texier will pick it up, tried to shovel it free. Line A, Texier, and Borchek. Borchek battles along the wall. Bean now looking down low. Borchek circles on net. Giordano on his back. The puck picked up and down the right wing. It's McCann. McCann across the line, a centering pass knocked away by Line. The puck comes through, nonetheless, to Schwartz. McCann, Everly. Warinsky breaks it up briefly. Seattle will get it back. That's McCann along the wall. Bean got it free. And Texier will dish to the corner. We passed the midway point of this opening period. 6-6 six, six are the shot attempts. No score. Walking to center is Bean, and he'll dump it. Grubauer out to settle it down. Backhands one down the right wing for Tanev. Squeezed along the wall there by Hoffman. Donato dumps to the open corner. Takes an awkward bounce, but the Jackets are right there defending, and Pete quick to clear. Aiden Fleury. Tanev 
with a rocking hit there on Harrington. None the worse for wear. Right back up. And takes his spot on the blue line. Yeah, Harrington played that puck out of the air. Just had it right in his, his jersey trying to find it. And kind of took two big steps. And just dumped him over. Eric Robinson now with a big stride. Able to dump in. Oleksiak. Will lead the rush up ice. From center. His pass off the mark. Ends up behind the net. Oak was trying to hold up. Don Skoy. That's Winberg with it along the wall. He'll throw to the point over the stick of Alexia. And a race for the puck. Look at Nyquist coming quickly. Winberg there defending. Or excuse me, that is Alexia. My apologies. And now on the wing. Winberg fires it up onto his own bench. Eight minutes, 12 seconds remaining. And there's Domi getting some attention from head trainer Mike Vogt. the way Max Domi did, right? Domi with shoulder surgery in the summer, circled that date October 14th and was back for the opener, surprising everybody except himself, had a three-point night, said after the game, guys, look, I have the best job in the world playing in the NHL. It's pretty easy to see he uh, played exactly that way Thursday night. And he's out on the ice here right now with his line mates. Oh, goes off the back of Jenner. A shot from up high. Sillinger, Domi, and Jenner up front. Jan, cross ice Appleton. Flurry could not play it. Jackets come up with it. And a cross ice pass chipped ahead there by Appleton. Warinsky looking up on that left wing for Jenner. Appleton, the former Winnipeg Jet, now walks it all the way back to the goal line, whips it around the wall. Puck kept in by Sillinger. His shot off the leg of Lozan. Centering pass by Jenner, knocked down by Giordano. Up high, left point. Long shot, blocked again by Lozan. A third attempt here by the Jackets, Voracek. And Jenner will just whip it around the wall. Appleton, late in the shift for him. He'll throw it back and take a seat on the bench. Lozan. Paired with Giordano. Giordano. Out to setter, Line, Texier for Boquist. Texier settles down that rolling puck. Voracek failed to gain the zone with Giordano stepping up on him. Line tips in deep, and it's Larson circling the net. Throws it up the left wing. Schwartz now walks it to the line and over. Giordano's joined the rush, looked far corner, didn't miss by much. Elvis had the angle. Texier with Boquist, who's right there, just dumps in and peels off. Jackets will change up similarly as play continues. Seattle with some fresh legs. Don score. Fights off the check of Pete. Goes to the corner. Winberg trying to fish it free along the wall. Robinson gets it, but it's Alexiak to make the play. Left wing feed, here come the Jackets, Robinson, behind the defense, moving in, oh my! John Corrali right there on the doorstep. Max Domi's gone down the tunnel. He's not, not on the bench anymore, so a little discomfort there for him. Just joining us, hitting open ice, buckled a bit, played the next shift. But Jody points out he's down the tunnel right now. Dean shovels it off into the corner. There's Tanev. Tanev cycles. Help here now from Geeky. Yorkstrand can't get a stick on it. Geeky with a centering pass for Tanev. Tanev with a shot. This one's deflected. High. Remains in play. Donato to the point. Long shot, pad save, big rebound on the slot. Whip. The Jackets are there as Bjorkstrand is able to clear it. Here comes Nyquist across the line. Streaking the net is Bjorkstrand. Quick shot there by Roslovic. Blocked in front. Never got through to Grubauer. Up high. This is Roslovic. Jack Roslovic walks around the net. 
Hangs out of the puck, feeds Bjorkstrand. Wierenski. Crowd. Trying to encourage the Jackets here. Play deep in Seattle territory. It's off a stick. And Wierenski will gather it up and step back to center ice. Here comes Zach now. In across the line for Bjorkstrand. Looking for the return. It's sticked aside. Roslovic. Nyquist. Pinned there by Oleksiak. Official tell move along. Askeen in there to help out and protect that puck. Roslovic with a stick in there, and he finally was able to knock it away. That's Wes McCauley, the head official here, and a great communicator telling him there's no whistle, so get the puck moving. Crack and walk it back into their own zone. Appleton in turn finds Larson. Less than four to go. Shots are even at four. No score. Long shot. Knocked down by Elvis behind the net. He quickly got back between the pipes there with a Kraken coming quickly. Sillinger along the wall. Full Sillinger. Left there for Hoffman. Now Eberle. Flips a backhand pass. Here's McCann across the line. Tried to refeed that puck to Eberly, but it was broken up alertly by Cole Sillinger. You see Hoffman getting a chance out there with Sillinger and Jenner since Domi is gone back to the room to get attention on that shoulder that he looked to jam and a big hit with Larson. Long stretch pass there. Rubauer. Dishing on the breakout. Susie gets it ahead. It's dumped wide of the net. Elvis tried to move it along the wall. Peak. Winberg right there. Texier will shovel a backhand. Gorchek returning it to Texier. Texier, oh, nice move. Trying to get around Giordano. Kicking it from skate to stick. Still has it. Keeps the puck in. Deals it on the left wing. Gorchek kept right on the doorstep. Tried to redirect from the left wing shot. Giordano will take it and hold. Good start here. Lots of good pace to this one. You can tell Seattle no one really knows what they are, but they're a team that's aggressive. They seem to be on the same page. And you know what? Like the Blue Jackets, lots of hard work out there. Both teams playing exceptionally fast here in this yeah, opening period. Not a lot period. of ice available. And you can see even this battle here. As Larson goes in, Nyquist right on his back to take away that time and space. Larson dancing, trying to get away from Nyquist. Puck turned over! Shot saved! Rebound! Right there with a quality shot with Jack Roslovic on that turnover by Larson. Yeah, how about Nyquist on the pursuit of that puck? Staying with Larson, who looked like he had an exit strategy, but Nyquist providing that pressure leads to that turnover in the middle of the ice. Robinson comes in, puck is steered ahead. Sheehan with a clearing pass. Maskin tried to get to that puck, could not. Jackets quickly. In transition here now, this is Gavrikov. Boquist. Corrali, who had a golden opportunity earlier. Grubauer has it, and he will hold with 107 remaining. No score. Here's what we're talking about with Corrali. And Grubauer, then it was Roslovic, and Grubauer is there again! Yeah, this is for the Seattle Kraken. Yanni Gord, one of their best players. He's out. He had surgery just before the expansion draft. They still picked him up. Why wouldn't you? Callie Arncroft, he's in the COVID protocol. Remember him from Nashville. And then Marcus Johansson, lower body injury. Great forwards out for the Seattle Kraken. And remember, for the Blue Jackets, Bemstrom just went on the IR. Oblique tear in practice, so he is out. And then Max Domi down the runway. Does not look like he's returned yet. We had that off-season so shoulder surgery and pretty big collision here in the first period. Play, play underway with less than a minute to go in Seattle territory. The Jackets unable to keep it in. Oliver Bjorkstrand taking a shift here with Jenner. And Schillinger at the line. Puck is chipped ahead. Wenberg knocks it down. Alexander Wenberg circles the net. Looks up high. Larson. Wenberg. 
All kinds of traffic in front of the Columbus net. Wenberg dishes. He'll get it back. Quite a crowd and the shot blocked by Bjorkstrand. How about that? Bjorkstrand stays up top, gets that block. Key block. Wenberg, nice pass there to Alexiak. But last line of defense, very calmly played by the goaltender, Merzlikan. Yeah, don't both goaltenders look really calm? Confident guys in there. Here's the Wenberg shot. You see Bjorkstrand staring him down, taking that off the knee pad. Textbook block. Blue Jackets are man to man up high, so Cole Sillinger had to stay with the defenseman there as he left his position, and that was a great save. Just a picture of Elvis quiet in the crease. And that puck hits him, and then you can't find it it's because it's stuck in his equipment. Just the way he wants it. Well, into the final minute, Grubauer directing traffic. He sees the Jackets coming quickly. Had a word for Loza, and who's now pinned along the board. Schwartz. Trying to protect that puck with Robinson in pursuit. There's the horn to end. Uh, quickly played, entertaining first period, but scoreless. Little excitement there at the end of the period, but overall, a great period played by both teams. I mean, a little too much time spent in the Blue Jackets zone, but they didn't break. They stayed with it. They stayed in their defensive structure. They waited for Elvis to make a save. They got their clear, their clears. One of the keys was clean exits. I thought they did a pretty good job on those so far to start. Need more action on Grubauer, though. Get to those rebounds. That's something the Blue Jackets have got to do here in this situation. Big defenseman in Seattle. Blue Jackets want to find that inner ice and try to find rebounds. 6-5. The shots favor the Blue Jackets after 40. Or after 20, excuse me. Right now, we're going to go downstairs, and here's Dave Metzl. Thank you, Jeff, with Zach Wierenski. Zach, your thoughts on that first 20? Yeah, it was, it was all right. I mean, uh, I think we did some good things. Obviously, we were playing a little bit better than last game. Uh, I thought our structure was better. Um, it's a tight game. I haven't had too many chances either way. Uh, so, yeah, I think it was pretty good. Is there a challenge, Zach, that comes with a t playing a team that you've never really seen before and has only played two games, so you don't really know what their identity is? Um, maybe. I mean, it's just hockey at the end of the day. I don't think you have to think about it too much. Um, obviously, a different team and a bunch of guys over there that, uh, you know, want to prove something. Um, so, yeah, no, I was, thought it was a good period for us. Uh, hopefully, the second one's better. All right, Zach, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks. Rims, back to you. Thanks, Dave. So, our first look at the Kraken here on Valley Sports. And after one period here on Saturday night at Nationwide, we have no score. Health, leaving you lost. Kill it. Whatever. Last game. We come in, we play, we win, we show them. We all train and skate just like the rest of them. So why can't we win? And why can't we go out there and, uh, and make the playoffs and go far in the playoffs? And that should be our mentality from day one. You know, media is going to talk and people are going to talk and you know, write us off or do whatever. But uh, it has to it has to come from us that belief. us how we're gonna uh, take that responsibility and, and how we're gonna perform on the ice if that will is there anything can happen and a lot of good habits can be can be uh, can be teached so uh, excited about the year I think from day one and uh, of training camp we have to have that and I think talking with Booner and Gus and you know guys that have been here we feel that way and I'm just excited to get going and, uh, and see what this team can do Good to see the concourse buzzing again at Nationwide Arena. Jackets and Kraken have played one period, and we're scoreless. And as we welcome you back inside, Brian Giesenslaw, Jean-Luc Grandpierre for our intermission report. This is not quite the eight-goal pace that we had after the first period on Thursday. Yes, yeah, not even close. Listen, total shots between both teams, 11. And yeah. I think, uh, obviously, not much offense. So far, I think both teams, the first 10 minutes, feel like a boxing match. Both teams were feeling themselves, and then it opened up a little bit in, uh, you know, later in that first period. But I haven't seen much yet. Yeah, different kind of a game every night tonight. The difference happens to be the Jackets and Kraken both defending relentlessly uh, that has resulted in this scoreless game. But some of the things that Brad Larson wanted to see, pace, what else did you see from the way they played in the first? I think the Blue Jackets a little bit more physical today. Centers coming down, supporting, and then a lot of block shots. We saw Andrew Peake. Uh, we saw later Olivier Bjorkstrand on uh, Wenberg right here. 
sacrificing the body. So that's what you want to see right now. And that may explain the lack of shots and scoring chance so far is good defense by both teams. And we'll keep an eye on Max Domi, Elvis Merzlikens, a couple of big saves. But at some point, this puck that is bounced around in the first period, someone's going to cash in. Yeah, some, someone's going to cash in. And for the Blue Jackets, you have to be careful. I saw Patrick Liney got caught on a two-minute shift, and he was tired and tired. And that was early in the period. It's really hard to recover for a forward when you have a long extended shift like that because your cardio is trying to catch up the whole the rest of the period. Yes, sir. All right, one period down. Two more to go for Nationwide. When we come back, more of our intermission report as the Jackets, their first look at Seattle so far, a scoreless game. I just got my cash back match. Is this for real? Yep. We match all the cash back new card members earn at the end. It's up to a better world. Go green for good at IGS.com. And by Ohio Health, official health care provider of your Columbus Blue Jackets. Elvis Merzlikens, Philip Grubauer, and a scoreless game so far. Back with more from Nationwide next. He's one of those young defensemen that you want to keep around. You sense he's got a little something to prove. He wants to be the guy. Power play! Goal! It's going to be really fun to watch him grow. Columbus Blue Jackets hockey brought to you by the Jeff Weiler Columbus Auto Mall. Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Chevrolet. Go to jeffweiler.com. And by Jets, the best Detroit-style pizza on the planet. Scoreless game for the Jackets and Kraken after 20 minutes, Sean Luke. When it's scoreless, you look to try and get a better feel for what type of game is being played. What's your best guess so far for what we've seen from these two teams? Well, we saw a lot of defense. I see that fort line being involved quite a bit. We saw Robinson, Hoffman with a few chance. Corrali here doing some good things. And then again, comes back to defense. We talk about block shots. Well, Elvis Merzlikens blocks a lot of shots. That's part of the game as well. Brad Larson said he wanted to see pace from his team. It's been a bit scrambly at times tonight. There has been some pace, but the story so far, one of them is that hit, Max Domi, and we haven't seen him since. Yes, and he tried to come back. Listen, he's a guy that's going to try to come back unless his shoulder's falling off, but he hit a wall there in Adam Larson. Big boy on defensive uh, part of the Seattle Kraken, so hopefully everything's all right. It's just a stinger, and he can, can come back in this game. I hope so. Otherwise, Elvis Merzlikens has done his fair share of the heavy lifting so far. They keep the Kraken off the board, but we'll go back to work in the second, still looking for the first goal of the night between these two teams. When we come back to Nationwide Arena, we'll get you to the second period as the Jackets in Seattle have skated to a scoreless game so far. That was fun. I'll take the free chili and the wings. No score here at Nationwide as we get set for second period play. The visiting Seattle Kraken and your Columbus Blue Jackets. Time now for our Nationwide Telestrator. Nationwide, proud to be a championship partner of your Columbus Blue Jackets. Nationwide is on your side. Jody, what caught your eye after that first 20 minutes? Well, no score here, and you can tell the Blue Jackets played a much better game in their system, the way they want to play. They were on pucks. They took care of the defensive zone. Too much time spent down there, but I love this forecheck. Pursuit of the puck by Gus Nyquist. You can see what he's doing. He does get help there as both guys arrive and bump the body, and that causes a little pressure. Now, Larson off to the left. Gets the puck, and it looks like he's going to pursue it out of the out of the zone, but no, he gets turned back by Nyquist. Nyquist keeping his feet moving, and the key here, he's staying above the puck. And then you can see Larson tries to get it out in desperation, and Jack Roselnik, the high forward in perfect position, gets a really good opportunity on Grubauer. He didn't like his shot selection as he came back to the bench and checked it out. But how about the hard work of the veteran Gus Nyquist? Missed all last year, played his first game the other night 
in quite some time scored a goal that's got to feel good he's engaged and he's bought into what's happening here when a guy like that goes out and leads by example causes a turnover just with good hard work and pressure the whole bench and the coaching staff appreciates so the value of the veteran and what he did there in that pursuit of the puck that was good work Winberg wins the draw the second period now underway Buck dumped in chopped to the corner there Donskoy trying to get away from Gabrikov who defended now Donskoy knocked to the ice and play call and a cross-checking penalty yeah Gordy Dwyer there the official just feet away from Cole Sillinger. Sillinger's down low here as a centerman. You can see he's trying to lock on his penalty, player. 34, two minutes cross checking. Well, he just came late here, so you can see Boquist was pursuing the puck, and that looked like a pretty good hit to me. Yes, it did from that angle, which we saw. So Seattle get the first power play shot sent wide by Donato they're two for five in their previous two games Blue Jackets have killed off three of four opening night against Arizona and they're pursuing the puck deep in the zone with Corrali drop pass there shoveled ahead Donato Everly that's Schwartz with it now Aiden Schwartz behind for Everly right back to Schwartz coming out of the corner up high Donato dishing Giordano will take it back Donato deflected wide Everly in the slot try to redirect that one hole yeah he's so good at that high tip but nice play by Donato to get it into Everly a little more than a minute left on the power play back at the point by McCann Donato looks cross seam there the Jackets Able to clear. Bean comes up with that puck. Donato. Back across the line. Off his skate. Robinson has turned around on the play. Crowd looking for Pelly to be called there. Top of the circle. Far wing. Save. Rebound. Swipe that twice. Donato with the net empty. Had it hop over a stick and away go the jacket. Short handed. Here's Boone Jenner. Looks for the trailer. Quick shot. And it sails wide. Across the line. Ray Boulet looking cross ice and here the puck goes off the netting out of play and a face off with 23 seconds left. Well here's a chance you can see Schwartz he just directs that puck towards the net McCann gets a piece of it but they're Everly and Donato in front and the, the best chance would have to go right there to Donato that puck just hopped at the right time for the Blue Jackets. He took a swipe at it, saw the open net, and got a little, little excited, I'd say. I'll say. <laughs> saw nothing but a net in front of him, Jody. Yeah, that's, boy, that's... He gets so jacked up when that happens. <laughs> Puck is set the length of the ice. Fielded there. On the fly by Gru Bowers, the final seconds down to 10. In the Seattle power play. Flurry drops it back. Back. Back in by Wenberg. Geeky drops it, and it gets away from Fleury. Jackets kill it off. No shots on goal. During that two-minute advantage. Up on the wing. Shahan had it roll off his stick. He and Pete will go to the wall. Donskoy is there as well, as is Gavrikov. Gavrikov not giving any real estate up. Donskoy is dumped. Roslovic there to help out. Dish to Bjorkstrand. Jackets break out. And here, it will be Gavrikov dumping deep. Nyquist there to corral it on the wing, but he's taken out of the play there by Lausanne. Shane to center. Lorensky got a stick on it. The puck into the zone. Susie with a shot. Elvis is there. Jackets quickly in transition, and away goes Nyquist. On to Bjorkstrand. Left there for Wierinski along the wall. Sent in front, and Grubauer deflects it up to the point jackets get it back shot blocked by appleton off the stick there of bean appleton now left wing across the line frozen in front sails off to the right wing reverse 
Grudstrand is there. Geeky able to take it away. Tanev trying to walk out. Shot for the point by Larson. Right off the pad there of Elvis. He got a piece of it. And the Jackets have dumped with Alexiak in pursuit. Alexiak now. Long stretch pass there for Tanev. Tanev coming off a two-goal performance against Nashville Thursday in the Kraken's first ever victory. Geeky. Knocks down that bouncing puck and sends it off the netting, out of play. Fans want the latest on the Columbus Blue Jackets? Well, access game previews, player profiles, team stats, stories, and more with the official Game Day Digital Program. It's free and you can access it from anywhere on your mobile device. Simply visit bluejackets.com slash game day. Draw one by Texier. Right wing. This is Jake Voracek. Line A. Line A's cross ice pass tipped to the corner with Texier in pursuit. Susie to center. He will dump in. Puck goes high. That had Texier dumping. Susie, former Minnesota Wild. Left there for Giordano. Top pairing for the Kraken. Puck shoveled ahead. Everly, a little touch pass there. Schwartz is tied up. Jackets have cleared. And a race for the puck. Fleury will get there ahead of Sillinger. Fleury. Puck knocked down. Jackets keep it in. Great work there by Jenner. A shot by Sillinger. And a rebound. Locked away. That was Hoffman, the 28-year-old rookie, almost got his first in the National Hockey League. A can for Flurry. Puck drop on the breakup. This is Flurry in for Vince Dunn tonight. It was a game time decision. Yeah, oh. Dunn was in a fight last game and. Practice this morning for the pregame skate, but wasn't able to play tonight. Larry Boulet attempted to get a stick on it. Here's Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand. Sillinger. Oliver hustles behind the net. Bjorkstrand. Trying to fight through the check. Protects that puck. Drop to the ice. Nyquist comes in and throws it here to Jake Bean at the point. Donskoy is there. It's chipped out, but Bean will leave it for Nyquist. Approaching the six-minute mark here of a scoreless hockey game in the second period as the Jackets dump in. Winberg hits it ahead. Larry Boulet will just send it the rest of the way. And wholesale changes here now by Seattle. Warinsky just steers it deep. And icing is the call. Well, Max Domi did come out for the second period here, but he has again left the bench. Not feeling comfortable. How about that rebound? You got Cole Sillinger, the 18-year-old rookie, takes the shot. Then the 28-year-old rookie from Switzerland, Hoffman. His mom, Sandra, and his dad, Dominique, are watching back home. Late night in Switzerland right now. Let's say hi to them. Geeky tried to throw it in front. Geeky. Defended here by Bean. Puck turned over. Cracking with it. Far side of the ice. Jackets defend. Elvis will stop. Bean will try to get the Jackets out of difficulty here. Takes a hit from Donato. Jackets move in, and it's Ross Levick with a centering pass. Oliver Bjorkstrand right there could not settle down that rolling puck. Ross Levick away from Susie. To the point, but not out. Good effort there by Bjorkstrand to keep it in. Tanner to the Jackets line. Geeky spins off a check. Peak coming together there with Bastion. Hoffman now using that speed. Dumps in deep. Held up there by Fleury. Lozan. Hoffman finishes the check nonetheless. Rolling puck chopped ahead. Over the stick of Harrington. Right wing. Bastion trying to squeeze through along the wall. You're not getting much room there from Pete. 
Larry able to keep it in. Rolling puck moved ahead by Harrington. Jackets are out of the zone. And there Robinson will send it deep. But icing once again against Columbus. We now pause for this word from Jets Pizza. Watch them score two and get a deal. Hoffman showing his speed right now. He's double shifting. We saw him out there earlier with Sillinger and Jenner, and now he's back with Corrali. Late in the shift. Look to win this faceoff, get it deep, and get off the ice. Hoffman, Robinson, second effort. He's able to kick it from skate to stick and dump it deep. All five guys with the change there. Good puck management. Voracek rink wide. Boquist offside at the line. Overall, 2019, he's 20 years old. Look at the confidence, the poise, a veteran National Hockey League player. What a move, and then, hey, I love that. Ah, pure emotion. Outweights everybody. And then goes right over to his fans in New Jersey and says, here you go. It's like the bat flip in baseball on a walk-off home run. I love it. Keep that going. Tell you what, he uh, out came Patrick Kane on that one. Kane was right <laughs> there with him. That uh, was a nice, Beauty. nice patience, poise, and confidence there from Jack Hughes. Play underway. That's Donskoy. Lost the puck to Warinsky. Thrown in front and line. He's got it. Stretch pass there. Just failed to click for Texier. Winberg will toss it back with blue liner Giordano. Takes it outside the zone. One hands it there. It's behind Susie. But dumped in nonetheless by Bastion. All this out of the net to keep it away from Donskoy. Line A off the wall. Gets it out of the... Columbus zone carries in and then dumps the rest of the way. That line not getting much time and space out there. Line A, Borchek, and Texier. You see a few shifts where they've just defended and then had to just get to the neutral zone to get it deep. See if they can get freed up a little bit. Maybe get away from Oleksiak, Giordano, and those guys. Here's Nyquist. Out to center. Steps in. His pass. Directed away. Jackets get it back nonetheless. Roslovic. Yorkstrand. Back for Jack. Two on two. Jack trying to split the defense and walk in. Oh, what a great play. And then he sent it wide. Walked right in on the defenders there. But sent it wide of the net. Off the back wall. Grubauer got a piece of that. Roslovic right back on the puck. That puck follows him around. Yeah, but at the end of that, he can't force that to the middle. Flurry from the point. Stick save Elvis with Roslovic camped in front of his goaltender. Blue Jackets have cleared. Icing is the call. We're going to call this a Nissan move of the game. What a move it was by Jack Roslovic as he got the puck in the middle of the ice. It has been bouncing quite a bit here tonight. And you can see how Jack gets his puck. It rolls right here. He stays with it. Oh, just misses that far post. What a look at it by our camera operators here. I oh, he got a piece of it. Grubauer got a piece of it with the top of his stick. Now it's Bjorkstrand up ice. Long shot wide. Karam to the right wing. Swept ahead. This is Geeky with a saucer pass for Tannen. Following through, but the puck rolled away for the Jackets defended. D to D. Alexiak with traffic in front of Elvis. Set wide. Tannen. Pressure there by Sillinger. Some help coming from Peak. Peek will take the puck here and deals to center. Boone Jenner on the backhand. Grubauer out to play. Geeky stepping up there was Voracek. Harrington for Jake in front. Sillinger with a quick attempt at a shot right there on the doorstep yeah, was Donato Boone on Jenner. His back. Yeah. Here now. Tanner will drop it. Oleksiak off the wall. Backhanded. Blocked along the wall. Corrali just bunts it ahead. And Jenner sends it the rest of the way. Look at Hoffman. Hustle in. Jenner finishing his check. 
Tentative waits for it. Now from center. Bought off there by Corrali with another hit. He had six hits in the first period to John Corrali to lead the Jackets. Crowd trying to encourage the Jackets here. That fifth line. Getting a little throaty here in the second. Susie around the net. Off a stick. Bounces. Bastion tried to make the play. Appleton is there. Able to shovel it out, but Marinsky not giving him much room. Play called. And there's 8.25 left. A lot of hits in this one. This one by Harrington. Is our Kia player profile tonight? Yes, he is. I love this play last game. Power play. Fakes over to Voracek. And Voracek usually gets that puck, but it's all about a read, said Jake. Love that Zach took that puck. Obviously scores that goal, but Zach has such a good, good sense in the offensive zone. Great defender, but a heads up player and realize that, hey, Jake, everyone thinks I'm going to go over there, and then takes the lane. Had a nice night the other night, goal and assist in the first game. Had the power play clicking, and how about Jake Voracek? He's forced to take this face off. No. Draw one by Donskoy. Seattle control, step to the line. Puck shoveled in on a backhand. Voracek is there. Warinsky waits for it. Tried to get it ahead to line A. Donskoy turns him around. Donskoy now in the slot, settles down the rolling puck. Fights it off there. That's Beret Boulet whipping it around to the right point. Jackets get it out of the zone. Line A on a breakaway. Moves in, shoots the nine. Rebound, Warinsky. And another stop. Best scoring chance for the Jackets tonight. Rubauer has stood tall, as has Merzlikens. Texier to the point. Warinsky. Lorchek tried to shovel it in front. On a redirect. Giordano sends it down. Elvis. Warinsky. Zach, a long stretch pass here for Domi. Domi first shift of the second period and stopped by Grubauer once more. That second period, long change and two instances. That one on a line change, but this one, you see Line A pokes at the puck and then stays out of the zone and gets the bounce. Now he goes to his backhand. It's like Grubauer stopped that one. Then Giordano stacks the pads in front. A great look at it. Grubauer gets the right pad out. Patrick Liney with that shot. I don't know if he faked the shot, but he went to the backhand, just couldn't get it up high enough. Credit Grubauer there coming out and challenging that play. Gavrikov all over Eberle. Here's Cole Sillinger. Setters it, looks for the return feed. The puck turned over. McCann denied. Another attempt, this one by Eberle, and he rifles it high. Jenner looking for the clearing pass, but Everly stepping up with the active stick. Moved around the wall. Geeky is there. Geeky. Everly. Everly to the point. D to D. Here's Larson. Larson. Throws it around the dasher. Cut off behind the net by Sillinger. Boquist tried to return the feed to Sillinger. It was behind him and forces an icing. Well, here come the Kraken, and you can see Elvis makes that first one. Now he stays with that. Looks like that second shot sailed high, but he's ready for this one. Kicks it out. You can see how locked in he is, tracking that puck all the way out to that low slot area, and then ready for the next high shot. Lozam off the blocker of Berzlikens. Boquist tying up Donato. Able to get it there to Jenner. Blue Jackets looking for a line change, but it's dumped right back in. Gavrikov, Boquist will let it go. On the wall, Domi. Now the Jackets, Gavrikov will walk it out. Sillinger, not able to play it. Blue Jackets change up here on the fly here now with the play. 
in Seattle territory. Less than six to go here in period two. Long lead pass there looking for Tannen. And icing is the call. Presenting Kia's lineup of exceptionally capable all-wheel drive SUVs. From the faceoff. Shot by Bjorkstrand. Circling the net, Wierenski fights through and away from Lozan. Jackets finish a check in Seattle territory. Here, Tadev moving in. Tadev scores on the backhand. Stopped initially. He's able to send the rebound home, and the Kraken are first on the board. Well, it started for the Blue Jackets. Nice job by Roslevic to win the offensive zone faceoff, and then the Kraken get out of the zone, and Tanev pursuit of the puck here. Bjorkstrand's covering. He's an offensive player. You can see he takes a swan at the puck, and Tanev has got one thing on his mind, and that's get the puck. Not only does he get it, he's got all this time to fake and then shake and then put it past Elvis Merzlikens, who's trying to stay with him. And credit Tanev, third line player, comes to Seattle. Third goal of the season in the third game. He picked up two last game. And wow, he's played a lot already tonight. And Hackstall is really leaning on that line. You can see why. They're pursuing the box, and then how about that finish? Pretty impressive. So Tanev gets his third. Seattle score at 14-32 and lead 1-0. 5-19 left here in the second. A 1-0 Seattle lead. The forward playing defense. Tough spot right here. He's trying to find the puck. He knows he's got Tanev bearing down on him. Tanev jumps to the outside. See, Bjorkstrand doesn't want to take a penalty and probably could have got one there. Doesn't matter. Tanev puts the puck in the back of the net. So when that puck's in the air and you're skating backwards and then you, you got to keep your eye on it like Bjorkstrand did and then you lose it, what do you do? Take the body or try to find the puck? And there, Bjorkstrand tried to take the body and Tanev. Just outsmarted him, out hustled him there. Tough position for Oliver. Donato draws the lone assist. One nothing. Speak without a stick. Attempted to kick it out of the zone. Tanev, top of the circle, just rifled it wide. I feel like Tanev's out there every other shift, doesn't it? Yeah, he's. This line, you highlighted them in the open. They're effective, and they certainly have been here tonight as well. Well, Tanev's out there now with Wemberg. Now, he didn't start with Wemberg, but he's worked his way up in the lineup just because he hustles and he's got some finish. So now he's with Wemberg and Donskoy. He started started on the, the night on the third line. It was with Geeky and Donato. Oh, coach recognizes this guy is going and he's going to use him. So one goal in this game. Had him. Former Winnipeg Jet Donato, the lone assist. Line A now. We had a golden opportunity earlier here in the second, only to be denied by Grubauer. Warinsky shovels it off to the corner. Voracek. Line A, able to keep it in. Puck knocked away. Crowd looking for Pelly to be called as Line A hit the ice. Cross ice, Schwartz, Eberle, high. And Elvis able to turn that one away. Line A again fights through the hook there of Schwartz. Steps to center. Away from Eberle. Schwartz still trailing. McCann gets it. Kicks it to the wall. But Texier's right on it. Top of the circle. Shot blocked. Oleksiak right in on Voracek. The two go to the wall. Great shot by Voracek through Oleksiak. Here a backhand by Line A. He is lurking. Looking for that first goal of the year. Line A will play it off the wall. Line A looks to the slot. Wierenski 
right in on Grubauer. And he will hold. Heads up play by Texie to lift that stick. Again, the line went to the middle of the ice. Not a lot there. A good shift by him. Very noticeable. Patrick goes to the middle. There's Texier. He comes in and lifts, lifts the stick of Schwartz. And allows, allows that play to stay in the offensive zone. Right there. Goes right to Orensky. He knows what to do with it. I mentioned earlier that that line's having a tough time going. And we've seen Line on a breakaway. And then effective entry. And then a couple chances from them here late in this period. Less than four to go. Right wing Bjorkstrand, that puck bounced on him still. Fought it off, able to get it away and a poke check by Grubauer to clear it from in front of the net. Nyquist. Roslovic. Crowd trying to encourage the Blue Jackets here. On the prowl, looking for the tying goal. Gavrikov shot from a distance. Grubauer off the chest protector and he'll just hang on. Yeah, mostly outside chances here. You can see the box out position by Fleury trying to battle there with Gavrikov, who's up in the play. But Grubauer, I mean, he's a strong netminder. We know that. He makes things look easy, calms things down. But the defense in front of him, the pursuit of the puck has been really good to keep things to the outside. And the Blue Jackets taking those long shots. They do need some deflections. And again, those rebound chances is what they need to look for. Jenner wins the draw. Just hard to get on, in, on the inside on these D. Some big boys out here. Oh, for sure. And it's Giordano, their leader and captain. Off the wall, Donato will clear on to Tanev. Geeky trying to catch up. Tanev holds at the line. Look for Donato, who is attempting to scoot free. Jake Bean on to Boone Jenner. Jenner backhands the pass. It's blocked. Giordano for Donato. Donato into Columbus territory. Geeky brings it back from outside the blue line in and offside the call. Hey, fifth line, want a chance to win a signed Eric Robinson game you stick? Well, simply text the keyword Eric to 26791 for your chance to win. Keyword is Eric, 26791. Message and data rates may apply. more than two and a half left here you remember when Vegas came in all those players got a fresh opportunity some guys were buried in the depth chart well Tanev stands out as one of those players right now that really is coming to life in Seattle with his new home and getting more of an opportunity Let's see what happens with him what a great start for sure remember the names like Carlson and yes we do Marcia so <laughs> and still stars and will be stars out there for a long time but Really getting a great opportunity once they got to the expansion team. Larson gets it deep. Barre Boulay trying to come up with that puck. Donskoy does. Donskoy. Barre Boulay. And over the stick of Winber. Alexander Winber trying to fight off the Blue Jackets in Columbus territory. Eberle looks for the handle. Schwartz now fires. Stick save. I had Macaulay, the referee ducking. It was coming in his direction in a hurry. Line off the wall and out to center. Boracek right there on Larson. Puck dropped to the point by McCann. Alexiak. Larson back for Alexiak. Left wing pass shovel to Everly and Everly will dump in. Oh, that one took a wicked bounce off the boards with Elvis coming out to play it. Blue Jackets send it deep. Grubauer. Ozan. Jackets play it. Moving in, Corrali. And with Robinson going to the net, looking for a screen or a tip, Grubauer reaching out and making the stop. Oh, how about the hustle there of Hoffman? Looked like it was going to be icing. He gets waved off because Hoffman's the first player. Now Grubauer's forced to play it. And you can see Sheehan was not ready for it. That leads to a nice opportunity. Always pressure the puck, especially when the goaltender has to play it like that. Well, good job again, the speed of Robinson, Corrali, and Hoffman. Bauer was set though. Sean Corrali, local product, back home, signed as a free agent. Does an excellent job in the defensive zone with those faceoffs. Speaking of faceoffs, Roslovic wins one. It goes right to Nyquist, but he fired it wide. Yeah, he's won the last couple offensive zone draws. 
Warinsky now hit by Tanev. Roslovic well into the final minute here. Headman's that puck. Warinsky jumping up. Dishing to Nyquist. Gus Nyquist bumped there by Geeky. Ozan behind the net. Former Bruin on to Geeky. And there, Donato will send it in. Oliver Bjorkstrand. Four point night Thursday. On to Roslovic. Back for Bjorkstrand. Tipped away. Rolling puck. Looking for Don Skroy. Warinsky with a shot deflected. Actually a double deflection, but it went wide. Roslovic to the net. Standing on the doorstep was Nyquist looking to send that one home. And the horn goes to end period two. Well, there's Tanov. Yeah, he needs to take a breather. He's been on the ice. It seems like all period long. Came in talking about his four check persistence on the puck and here in the second period he's the one that chases down an aerial puck that Bjorkstrand had a tough time with tough play actually and Tanev beat him to the inside and then waited as Elvis Merzlikens was stuck in a two on one and Elvis got beaten and that's the score one nothing to this point but overall pretty even period besides that goal some chances for the Blue Jackets line it with that breakaway chance we just saw Roslovic and Kral each having chances. And then to end, that man, Warensky, who's walking off, had a good little light shot towards the net that looked a little dangerous. So, big intermission. The Blue Jackets get ready for their third period at home. Dave Mitchell standing by at ice level. Dave, who have you got joining you? Patrick Line is with us uh, right off the ice here. Patty, what do you think of the first two periods so far, the way you guys are playing? Um, yeah, I think it's been a tight game, I think. You know they play some good hockey and uh, you know they work hard and uh, they're uh, they're doing their system playing that well so it's it's a hard game but it's got to find find some ways to score pretty physical hockey game so far how can you use some of that physicality to your advantage and maybe create some more opportunities um, I think just try to try to stay with the puck as much as possible and um, obviously try to trying to get some guys out of the way and uh, hopefully create some chances and hopefully get one. You had a pretty good look at Grubauer in that period. Take a look at it. Tell us what you saw as you went in. Uh, nothing. That was probably the worst try I've ever seen in my life, so not too much to say about that. All right, go out and get another one this period. Thanks for this. Yeah, thanks. Rims? Thanks, Dave. Well, one thing about Line, he is on honest. They don't come any more honest than Patrick Line. After 40, here at Nationwide, Seattle. On a goal by Tanev, leading the Blue Jackets one to nothing. Opening week presented by Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Report brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. That scoreless game we had after one has changed, and Seattle leads the Jackets 1-0 here after two periods. Welcome back inside with Jean-Luc Grandpierre. Two periods, one goal in this game, and certainly there's a lot more going on with this so far, but what do you see from the back and forth right now? A little bit more offense yeah. by both teams uh, for me to filling out process. A lot of physicality. Yeah. Bit, you know, the Seattle Kraken's a very, very physical team, and the Blue Jackets are being physical as well, so I like what I've seen. Bad break there on the goal. Mismatch will go into it, but uh, and the Blue Jackets create some offense as well, just couldn't finish. They did, and we just heard for Patrick Line moments ago. This was one of the opportunities the Jackets had in the second when you get Line with an open look you like your chances yes and I like it starts with Zach Wenske with a nice place uh, with a nice play to line in he gets the rebound so creates two chances there and here nice outlet pass by Zach Wenske from long distance everybody's expecting it inside and this play here hey he's a forward playing the air Oliver Bjorkstrand it's a puck that's up in the air we know about iron coordination. Ideally, you try to knock this one out with your hand. Mismatch there. But what a finish by Brendan Tanev for his third of the year. So bad break there for the Columbus Blue Jackets. But you're only down by one. And Jody's right about Tanev. He had the two goals in the last game against Nashville. And he's been everywhere tonight, not to mention the king of the media day headshot. Brandon Tanev. Yes, that's a scary uh, headshot, that's for sure. For me, Brandon Tanev's the one that sticks out for Seattle. For the Columbus Blue Jackets so far, 
I'm not gonna lie, Hoffman, Gregory yeah. Hoffman is all over the place, creating a lot of opportunities and good on the forecheck with his speed. All right, one nothing game. After two, stick around. We're back to Nationwide Arena with more after this as the Jackets try to pull even with Seattle. Columbus Blue Jackets hockey brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. And by American Eagle Mortgage, we get you home on time whether you're buying or refinancing. Every game on Valley Sports Ohio, it's Blue Jackets Live pregame presented by your local Toyota dealer. And it's a good night tonight for the pregame show. Back inside in a one-goal game. Here's how we got there as Brandon Tanev goes through Oliver Bjorkstrand and has the finish, JL. And listen, we get a good look at him here at the glass, but it's nothing like the media day headshot we referenced and the evolution of this for Brandon Tanev. Yes, and he's having fun year after year. I'm scared for what we're going to see next year. So I yes. think we've peaked right now this year. Yeah, exactly, and his old teammates in the... Pittsburgh, Kasperi Kap Kapanen, excuse me here, you know, says to him, nailed it, Brendan Tanev. Oh, yes, he did. Last year was a little scarier, uh, a little scary, but this year he really, really went all out. So, you know what? I'm not sure who's got the best one, but I'll tell you, Brendan Tanev, what a finish. He could be on Dancing with a Star, the way he danced around the Elvis Rose like him on this one. He could, and I bet he nailed it in his elementary school pictures, too. One nothing game at Nationwide. Back after this. I'm here with hockey legend Jody Shelley. You know, Jody, you were one tough customer. You buy Ohio Health, official health care provider of your Columbus Blue Jackets. And by Arby's, we have the meats. Brandon Tanev's goal, the only thing on the board so far. Third period is next. Seattle Kraken lead. Jeff River, Jody Shelley rejoining you here. And how about the today's Kia game summary, Jody? Yeah, let's take a look at uh, a few details of this game. The Blue Jackets down by one. You can see the shot attempts, not very high. You want to get those a little higher. There's been a lot blocked. As you can see, 15 by the Kraken. The Blue Jackets got to do something about that. Takeaways. The Kraken have none of the Blue Jackets on top of it. And look at the hits. It's been fairly physical. And uh, there's been a change here to the top line Jenner takes the spot of Texier here to start the third period with Voracek and Line. to me that's a coveted position there's Max Domi he looks comfortable again good to see him back on the bench came right back and had a shot on net so Max buzzing out there the first game and he's had some it's just been not comfortable after a hit here so far tonight see if he can get in the offensive zone and get something going Tanev who has the goal Hangs on, then throws it behind the net. Donskoy taken out of the play there by Gavrikov. With Jenner back to the middle. That's that's the value of Boone, right? I mean, he's Absolutely. a guy that can do it all. He's the captain for many reasons, but he's a utility guy, and it's a valuable place to be right now. Boone did play line. there one preseason game and did look awfully good, didn't he? Net dislodged. Line is arguing that uh, Grubauer purposely took it off and points to the net being dislodged, but crowd agrees with you there and with Patrick Line. Good indication there to start this third period. His Boquist gets all that ice. And you see Patrick's right on the doorstep trying to shovel that. And you can see no question. Grubauer gets that skate under that peg, and I don't think he meant to do it on purpose. Let's see. Uh, there is a little arm. Oh, yeah, see that's bad. Huh. Well, that's an argument both ways, I'll say. Right down the middle. So, the result, the faceoff. The Grubauer is right. Larson sends it high. Now to play. Jackets are calling for a penalty. Oh, the official says it was deflected off the glass prior to leaving the ice surface. Crowd's all over it here. They're not agreeing with that either so good reactions nice energy here to start the third period Roslovic on the left side here is a right-handed shot he's going to try to win it on his forehand or he did the first one see if he tries to go to his backhand on this one draw one by McCann 
Just underway here in the third. Ten of the lone goal. 17 shifts through 40 minutes. <laughs> Played better than 11 minutes. Had two shots, two hits, two blocks. Icing the call here, so they'll head back. So it's uh, better for Roslovic on the right side of the ice. It's his natural side again. Really dig in on the backhand. He's been working at his face offs a lot in the offseason, watching a lot of videotape with the coaches and practicing every day. And there he wins that one back. From the draw, from the slot, shot by Bjorkstrand. Block. The Kraken have cleared. Here's Wierenski reaching for Everly on the forecheck. Jacket send it up the left wing wall. Over skating it there was Roslovic on the turnover. McCann for Everly. Who backhands one deep. Jake Bean now. Gets it out of the right wing. Bjorkstrand has swept it out. Nyquist, Bjorkstrand with Roslovic. Across the line. Roslovic shot, stick, save. Rebound off into the corner. Lowe's Ryan. For the Kraken. Walks it back as Seattle change up. Brandon Tanev now. It's geeky. Lozano, oh, that one was tipped by Donato off the point shot of Lozano and out of play. Purchase a dispatch family value pack for next Saturday's game against Carolina and receive the chance to participate post game on ice. Family slap shot starting at just $30 a seat. Each pack includes a game ticket, food and drink. To learn more about the exclusive offer, visit bluejackets.com slash family. From the draw, Flurry shot is blocked. Sillinger got a piece of it to send it off into the corner. Big hit there in the corner by Peak. Jackets march up three on two. Here, Dunk. Domi tried to send that right in on Grubauer and fired it over top of the net. Carried back in the other way. And play call to the offside it was Tanev. Marching into Columbus territory. Well, great exit by the Blue Jackets. Peak creates separation of the body down low. There's a high head, and then you can see the ice available. That shot just goes wide. Texier moved to the wing with Sillinger and Domi. That was Corrali in that instance for the defensive zone draw. Something he takes a lot of pride in. Said in Boston, he used to go out and take those D zone draws, get the face offs in the, op uh, the offensive zone, and allow Bergeron, Marchand, those guys come out. And he said they'd, al he they'd always come and give him credit for taking care of those defensive details. Giordano will send it ahead. Boone, eight for nine on the draws here tonight, so. Good recognition by the coaching staff to move him in there. Hoffman looks cross ice. Boquist trying to squeeze through. Looks for some open ice. Threw it back in front. Scramble there. Grubauer out of the net. Puck is loose. Corelli to keep it in. Hoffman winds up. Sends it ahead. Boquist all over the ice here. Moving up. Has it now. Left side. Down the wing. Puck is tipped away and then swept to center. Gavrikov right there in front of the Columbus bench. Robinson will send it back for Gavrikov. Jackets will change up here. Jenner now. Circles behind Elvis. Cross ice pass. Gavrikov. Oh, Winberg read that play. Donskoy had it chopped away. Elvis got a piece of that puck with that goal stick. Walking out of the corner. Winberg. Looks for Tanev. Up high. Larson throws it behind the net. Wenberg. Wenberg looking for some open ice. Wenberg along the half wall sends it back to the point. Off the stick of Larson. Jackets chop it ahead. Can't clear. Finally out. Line A. And it roll off his stick. Wenberg all over the ice. Now in the defensive zone. Takes a seat on the Seattle bench. Oleksiak. Larson. He's one of those free agents who talked about signing with the Kraken. Wenberg had spent a season in Florida, but signed a three-year deal here with these guys. Looks pretty comfortable. Boy, does he ever. Signed a one-year deal in Florida, scored 17 goals last year. Yeah, career here, high. Here come the Jackets. Roslovic takes the Nyquist pass, sends it off the side of the net. 
Puck right across the goal mouth. Picked up there. Thrown ahead. Wierenski knocks it out of the air. Very calmly. Jake Bean. On for Oliver Bjorkstrand. Jackets looking for the equalizer. Offside. Right there at the blue line. Oh, nice start here for the Blue Jackets. This third period down by one. And mix up the lines a couple a couple situations. There's a play by Boquist that goes in off the netminder. Creates a lot of trouble. You can see all the cracking jerseys down around their netminder, Grubauer. How about this play? Two defensemen stuck in the middle of the ice. Rosovic peels off. Nice play by Nyquist to put it on a tee for him, but Rosovic saw the daylight just hit that post. That line's buzzing right now. Rosovic with Nyquist and Bjorkstrand. Eye off the glass. Saved at the line by Susie. One timer there by Geeky, and he drilled it wide. Susie off the point. Donato walking out from a sharp angle, fired it right across the front of the net. Giordano, right wing. Donato pressured right in front of the Columbus bench, and he'll drop it back. Larson, Alexia, the big defender. Dumps in. It was deflected wide. Appleton. And it knocked away by Sillinger. Harrington moves it up, but not out. Alexiak throws it right back behind the net. Dump and chase. Right now from Seattle. Yorkstrand, left wing pass. Nyquist puts the brakes on. Three Kraken converge. Larson throws it behind his own net, and Roslovic's quickly on the puck. He'll throw it ahead. Gavrikov. Far side shot off the side of the net by Nyquist. Great pass there from Boquist, but Nyquist hits the side of the net. Icing the call. Gus, Nyquist can't believe it right now. You're right. Heads up play right here. Boquist has been up below the goal line the entire start of this period, and it's tough to defend that. You can see what a look at it here. He's just a little quick on that shot and hits the outside of the net. Didn't have a really good angle, did he? No. And wanted to get it away quickly. Yeah, a little too quick there, maybe. Wierenski with a shot off Grubauer. Larson. Heine tried to knock it down. Zone clear, Shayan. He'll just bounce one off the wall. Quick line change. Jack is trying to catch them on just that. Line A. Looking for Voracek in the corner. Line A now. Voracek. Trying to work it off the wall. Tanev sends it high out to center. Gloved ahead by Wierenski. Play allowed to continue as it was played by the Kraken. Now Tanev just sends it in on the redirect. And again, the crowd here trying to get the Jackets in it. Offering their support at Nationwide. Saturday night hockey, a one goal game. So, Vic, Jody, your thoughts of the play here tonight from Big Jack? Well, he's really jumping off the ice right now for the way he's playing. He's finding the open ice. Looks like he's got this attitude to attack. You can see he's got three shots, he's got eight attempts. Or tries at the net, either blocked or missed. So nice to see that. Got some things going. The, the coaching staffs recognize it. We're going to see a lot of Jack Ross of the night with some Bjork, uh, Bjorkstrand to see the, if they can get something in the back of the net past Grubauer. Loquist trying to tie up Tannen. Corrali trying to protect the puck in the corner. Comes to Boquist with a quick feed. Jackets get out of the zone. Lausanne tried to backhand it right back in. Gavrikov. Denying that at the line. Circling is Hoffman. Gregory Hoffman. I defeated on the right wing there for Boquist. Corrali and Fleury. What a great hit there. Much to the light of the crowd and Fleury. Hayden Fleury a little slow in getting up. Yeah, he is. He's flexing his right leg a little bit. He's still bent over. Shot Corrali on the forecheck, what he does so well. And all that momentum. Fleury knows he's got to take the hit. He does. And uh, to add insult to that, it goes for icing. 
Oh, he's an injured player, so he's able to change here. Yeah, Blue Jacks offense is on faceoff. Nice job by Sillinger. Boquist again stepping up here. Shot by Sillinger. Through Bauer on the short side makes the stop. That puck finding Sillinger here. And now Domi. Domi's long shot with the Blue Jackets cruising in front. Texier. Well, the Blue Jackets doing a good job of winning those faceoffs down there and then pursuing the puck thanks to the play of the defenseman on their toes. That allows Cole to get that quick shot, and you can see the recovery of the puck. Blue Jackets. Spending more time, taking their time, finding the open ice out there and the open man. Those long shots not generating much rebound on Grubauer, but they are a couple of them have caused a few anxious moments down there around him. Wenberg winning the defensive zone faceoff away from Sillinger, which enables the Kraken to come out of their own zone. Schwartz spun around. Wierenski knocking down Eberle. Voracek trying to protect that puck. He is turned around and hits the ice. Looks over his shoulder, has something to say to the official. Patrick Line at his own line. Jake Bean. Shayan on the forecheck goes off his skate. Right back to Bean. This time he'll find Jenner at left wing. Line full stride across the line. Tries to split the defense. Turns. Gets it to the point. Shot by Pete. Bounces right through to Voracek and away from Big Jake. Voracek to the point. Waritsky. Voracek. Jackets battle for position in front of Grubauer. Here's Waritsky. Walking into the net. Trying to tuck it home. Short side. Well, that's Jenner at the whistle pushing Grubauer into the net and that causes this reaction. Got the Blue Jackets. With a good play, Jake Vorchek still upset at the play at the other end, but this was the offensive attack. You can see again, defenseman involved. As Zach Wierenski attacks that short side again and there Boone just goes straight for, why not give the goalie a poke? Understanding that he's going to have a few guys trying to wrap him up and take him down. No problem for Boone. There you go. <laughs> Boone ends up at the bottom of the pile. Big boy there. Oleksiak laying on top of him. But you can see Boone, no problem. Jake's still shaking his head. I think he did think that might have been a, a cheap trip. In the, uh, offense, the defensive zone for him. Roslovic had it roll off his stick. Donato punctures it off into the corner. Kind of had it briefly. Jackets get it back. Roslovic, left wing. Nyquist, Bjorkstrand. Nyquist just drilled along the far board. Giordano for Geeky. With his second effort, he's able to send it to the Columbus line. Roslovic looking for Bjorkstrand. Touch pass there from Nyquist. Trying to stay on side. It's rifled in by Boquist. And it's out of the zone. And here's Everly walking in a 1 0 game. Pete got a piece of that puck to keep it away from Elvis and the Columbus net. There's a shot by Schwartz. High and wide. Flurry not missing a shift. He's back on the blue line. Schwartz now trying to step away from Boquist. Sillinger helping out his defense behind the net. Schwartz to the point. Long shot. Elvis is bumped. And Peak having a word with Eberle as a result. Crowd appreciates that. Out of Andrew Peak. Here's Voracek. Trying to work the breakout. You see he's trying to pull that puck away. And then Schwartz comes in, goes back of the leg of Jake. Definitely a trip. He's probably thinking slew foot. Jake got so upset. Took it out in the offensive zone, trying to get a goal there. Keep an eye on Jake. Here, the puck picked up by Robinson, shoots and scores! We're tied at one.
Sean Corral is out there in the D zone left side. This is what he loves. He's going to win these faceoffs most of the time. Thinking about getting set up in the offensive zone. Why not just put it in, says Eric Robinson. Gets around the D. Just a great shot, top shelf. And that feels good. That D zone play, snap it back, work with the D to get it out. Heads up play down there. They get rewarded in the offensive zone. And that line with Hoffman, Robinson, and Crowley ties it up here. Just what the crowd wanted. And they are on their feet. Columbus and the Kraken knotted at one. Nice job by Robinson and Corrali. You know, Robinson's a speedster. He's a guy we've seen play on some different positions in this lineup, but he's got a very specific one with Corrali in that D zone to make sure they get that face off and get things out. And here they go down to get reward. That's got to be a great feeling for them. You can see the players on the bench in appreciation. Hoffman and Harrington draw the assists. 1-1. Little more than nine and a half left. Third period. And this crowd has come to life. On the left wing, backhanded by Barre Boulet. Little contact there, Appleton, with Elvis slow to get up. He's all right, though. Wierenski in deep. Reaching for it there. Voracek, Wierenski. Right there with him. Line a. Tried to get a stick on it. Jenner steps into Don score. Puck played by the Kraken. That's Larson. Paired with Alexiak. Drops it for Alexiak. Seattle. Out to center. Larson will just rifle it in. Chopped ahead by Boquist. Picked up. Roslovic for Nyquist. Giordano sends it. For his defensive partner. Nyquist now spinning away. Nyquist. Centering pass and drill by Bjorkstrand. Here's Boquist with it now. Boquist, Gabrikov, Grubauer on the edge of the blue paint. Jackets looking to redirect it in front of Grubauer. And quite a discussion going on at the whistle. Eric Robinson has tied it up. 1-1 here in the third. Jackets fans, keep bringing that noise. Time now for the Big Lots Play of the Game. Score your own big savings with Big Lots. Check out your nearest location today. Gregory Hoffman gets his first point in the National Hockey League and assist on this play. And puck. Bounce right off Robinson's skate at the blue line. Right there, he didn't know where it was. He found it and put a top shelf. What a play. That was refreshing. How about the crowd in here, Jeff? Just uh, all over it right now. Love it. What an atmosphere. These fans certainly have waited a long time to get back in the building, and they've enjoyed this one right from the opening faceoff, much like they did opening night. A 1-1 tie as Sillinger carries in. Cole Sillinger fights off the check of Alexiak. Gets it through to Domi, whose shot was blocked. Sillinger right back on it. Shovels a backhand just wide. Again, it's thrown in front. The Jackets have Seattle on their heels. And Gabrikov with a thundering hit there on Everly. Sillinger gets it by Giordano. Throws it behind the net. Susie now. Pressure. From the corner, Giordano keeping it away from Texier. You can hear the crowd and the CBJ chant here. Corrali comes back to take it away. On Corrali sends it deep in the zone and icing the call here against the Blue Jackets. The speed of Robinson looks like he was going to win that race, but not the case. So it comes all the way back. How about Cole Sillinger here staying with this puck? Battles to get on the inside, gets it back to Domi, and big block in front by Schwartz. And then the reattack by Texier. 
from the faceoff. Long shot deflected high off the glass from the corner. Thrown behind the net. Tatted lurking there right in front of the blue paint. And the Jackets defend. They're out of the zone. Robinson. Rink wide. Picked off. Donato walking in. And defensive play there by Peek and a dandy. Knocked it away from Donato, who tried to move right in. Now Don score. Donato flips a backhand. And he sees a bunch of blue jerseys after attempting <laughs> to walk it right to the net. Yeah. Elvis wasn't happy either as he picked up the puck from behind the net there. Just a little extra poke. Got a nice little move here, but Peak stays with it. A little help from Harrington. Good veteran play there. Strength on the stick. A little outside, inside, and then you got Scott Harrington helping out Peak in desperation there. Nice cover up after Robinson tried to put the puck in the middle of the ice, and Donato jumped all over it. Tell you what, you wouldn't know this is game two of the season. These <laughs> teams have given it everything. Yeah, it's been a patiently played game by the Blue Jackets, you know, sticking with their system, waiting for that opportunity. And boy, they've come out here in the third period with a lot of jump. They have carried the play without question. 6.35 left. Seattle, deep in Columbus territory. That's Appleton out there with Bastion and Cheyenne. Jackets break it up. Moving in. Great work here by Roslovic, but he could not get that extra jump on Oleksiak. Now there's a pass on the wing. Yorkstrand. Nyquist. Wierenski fires. And the save by Grubauer. Uh, it looked like Roslovic there actually he knew he had two defenders on him so he's going to try to put it back to Bjorkstrand just couldn't gather the puck at the end and just before that whistle it's a quick release. Wierenski got such a, a smooth shot. Let's look at Roslovic you see he's trying to win the race now he knows he's got two defenders so he's going to try to put it back to Bjorkstrand just can't execute on that. Right idea though. We got line in a shooting position here. See if Boone can get it back. Back in control behind their own net. Look to walk it out. Boquist hustles there ahead of Appleton. Boquist, Voracek, rink wide. Line in, plays it in front of the Columbus bench. Patrick Line in, finds a seam. This is Jake Voracek. Voracek on the right wing. Around Giordano, threw it into the slot. And the Kraken have cleared. Boquist. On to Voracek. Left wing off the stick of Eberle. Line A. Picked up across the line. That's Hoffman had it poked away. Hoffman reaching for it off the skate of Corrali. Right wing. Schwartz with a shot off the blocker of Elvis. Another attempt turned aside by the Jackets netminder, and it's Robinson down the left wing, across the line, on for Corrali. No, it's broken up. McCann steps between the two and gets a stick on it. Warinsky, right wing, across the line, Robinson. Donato sends to center. Warinsky now tried to feed Domi, and play call. Offsides the call. 4.41 left. Regulation time here at Nationwide. We're not at at one. They told him to get off the ice. And it's a defensive zone draw here. Jackets win the faceoff. Jake Bean off the glass. Robinson will just chip it ahead and head off. Now the Jackets will get a line change here. Four and a half left. Giordano waits for it. Susie has it. Steps in front of his own net. From center, Tadev redirects. Gavrikov with Donato coming. Sillinger in to help out. Tadev picks it up. Moves to the front of the net, just sweeps it in that slot, but missing the mark. Tadev. 
Dumps it back ahead. Again, this time, Schillinger hits him with a pretty good hit. Gavrikov. Slowed him down a little. Sure did. Somebody's got to slow that guy down. <laughs> and speaking of fast, here's Texian. He'll try to get something going. Bump from behind there by Schwartz on the turnover. Alexiak. Ahead for Everly. Everly bounces it off the wall. Warinsky. Little tip pass there. Max Domi's pass went off the skate of Warinsky. Everly looking for a goal mode pass there. Seattle on the deflection, knock it out. And now we will take a break, but not before we get a look at a big hit here. Sillinger on Tedham, slow him down. How did we get here? Well, second period, Tedham, pursuit of the puck. And that patience. A couple of shake and bakes. Oh, yeah. Nice goal by him. It was 1 0 coming into the third period, but a little light from the Blue Jackets. Defensive zone faceoff win by Sean Corrali. And then pursuit of the puck. Same spot. There's Robinson top shelf over Grubauer, who's looking pretty solid in there. Both goaltenders standing strong. Both teams playing their positional play. And. Sticking with the team concept, and it's been a tight battle, but a fun game to be a part of. Less than three and a half left oh. in regulation time. Giordano's shot blocked in his attempt to get it to the front of the net. There's Schwartz, pinned by Bean. Eberle to the point. Susie back for Eberle. Jackets defend and clear the zone. Giordano had to hustle it away from Bjorkstrand. Susie to the Jackets line. Gavrikov, Bjorkstrand. Harrington right there. Nyquist carries in. Harrington retreats to the left point. Bjorkstrand. Long shot. That is blocked. Rolling puck settled down. Roslovic looking to get it back. But Susie's all over him. Bjorkstrand down. Looks to the point. It's picked off. Out of the zone. Donsko with the puck to Wenberg. Mastin hustles off to the bench. Puck deep in Columbus territory. Gavrikov trying to fight off the check of Donskoy. Here moving in front. Up high. Drilled by Larson. Jackets block that. It was Boone Jenner stepping in front of it. Dropping to make the block and a key one. Alexia. Larson. Donskoy in the corner. Gavrikov all over him. Wenberg. Oleksiak, quite a crowd in front of the Columbus net. There's a shot, and finally, Elvis being able to see it through the screen just bundled it off into the corner. Gavrikov, a little more than 90 to go. Domi with a backhand. Quickly, Oleksiak feeds it ahead. Appleton puts the brakes on. Defended in the corner here. By the Kraken and the Jackets come up with it. Domi, clearing pass, knocked down. Donato chops it back. Donato now, away from Wierenski. Jan. Lozan. Donato got a stick on it, steers it deep, puck rolling. Wierenski drops a backhand off the wall. Jake Bean and play here by Fleury. Welcome to MAG, affordable European luxury every day, home of 15 European brands. Visit magcars.com. Icing against the Blue Jackets here. Good play. It looked like a good play to get it out, but it just crossed the line. So face off to the right of Elvis Merzlikens. Less than a minute to go. 53.2 or 52.3. The exact as play is underway. Larson. Oh, off the side of the net. Elvis got the paddle down. Wrap around a tip there by Eberle. And look at Elvis move laterally. Come up with that in the blue paint. Yeah, not much room there as Elvis is there early. Had those pads across. He was deep in his net, had his pads locked on the post. And so he's ready for the wraparound. 
Right there, good job by Elvis. Collects it quickly, it allows the Blue Jackets to change up. Seattle wanted to try to get a light, late change in here with Perali out there, but Wes McCallum wouldn't let it happen. McCann won the draw, it's in the corner. Jenner gets there first. Jackets captain finds Corrali. Wierenski will just backhand it ahead. Larson in the waiting second. It's Oleksiak at the line, denied. Second effort, McCann. His shot to the corner, Eberle with an attempt. The Jackets block that, Gabrikov right there on Eberle. Jenner will drop it back. Left wing feed as the final seconds come off the clock. Jenner will sweep it by Oleksiak. And the teams pick up a point. Three on three, overtime ahead. Well, how about the Blue Jackets? Stay patient with their system. A much better game for them as far as team concept and what they're working on. Stay with it. Got their opportunity. Tied things up. And then defensively along with Elvis. Been some great saves at either end, so both teams have to be happy. And Jeff, we got some three on three overtime. Can't wait. This one has been a dandy. The Jackets tied up in the third on a goal by Robinson. And with the goal, Eric Robinson. You can see his stats here tonight 11 22 ice time. He's having a good time out there with Sean Corrali and Gregory Hoffman. He got us here with that late goal, or that third period goal, I should say. Use that speed a few times that period. And to start overtime, Boo Jenner's out there with Oliver Bjorkstrand and Zach Wierenski. We'll see if Boone snaps it back and heads off. Or he stays out there. We got Wenberg and McCann up front with Giordano for the Seattle Kraken. And from the draw, the puck is played by Winberg, and he'll just throw it back behind the net. Jenner takes his seat yeah, on the bench. Nyquist. And here comes Wierenski. Open ice, Wierenski walking in. Hands it off to Nyquist. Waiting is Bjorkstrand. Nyquist for Wierenski. Bjorkstrand camped in front of Grubauer. Nyquist trying to hold off Winberg. Nyquist fights through. Bjorkstrand with it. On to Zach with a quick shot that's blocked. Winberg lost his stick. Now he's good with his feet. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> that says he's a better soccer player than a hockey player. That's right. Here's McCann. McCann now circles. Drops it there for Schwartz. With Larson. Schwartz now darts down the wing. Drops it there for Everly. Everly had it roll off his stick, recovers. Walks it out of the zone. Now, Larson will come down that right wing. Drops it there. Schwartz shot deflected high and out of play. Well, a lot of strategy taking place. The line change, you know, it's that long line change. So Seattle allowed the Blue Jackets to change. Then McCann took that puck back. They got their full change in and then a lot of tactics in the neutral zone. It's man-on-man -man defense when you're out there, unless there's a switch called in the defensive zone. So you're responsible for your man, and no breakdown so far. One quick shot. From the faceoff. Buck along the wall. Geeky. Held in check by Jake Dean. Jenner. Looks over his shoulder. Jenner down the wing. He's got four checks. Borchek walking in! Grubauer got just enough to send it behind the net. The second effort with that goal stick. Did it again. That's going out. The Jackets change up. Mighty's on the ice here now. Kiki looks over his shoulder. Susie the shot. Elvis with the save. Lighty will pick it up. One man back. Joining the rush here. Domi. The pass to Domi and it bounced over his stick. Domi still with it. Max now with Wierenski and Line. Domi, Line with a one-timer. Iki blocking that with his stick. Wierenski forced out of the zone. Line. Zach with Domi. Line shot, scores! Blue Jackets win in overtime!
Well, Seattle had tired players on the ice, and Patrick Laine with speed down the way. He's been fighting it all night long, but here in overtime, on his forehand, down the right side, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Laine and Grubauer, and Patrick Laine just rips it past Philip Grubauer. See the time and space, tired defender in Suitsi. He doesn't know what to do. He's on a two-on-one. And there, Patrick Laine shoots and celebrates along with the Columbus Blue Jackets who played a tight checking, smart game tonight, and they stay patient. And when you stay patient, you don't want it to be frustrating. But at the end, what a victory for the Columbus Blue Jackets here in front of their fans at home. And yeah, the superstar, Patrick Laine, he's on the board. First goal of the year, overtime winner right here at Nationwide Arena. What a night here for this team. Just a superb third period. The Jackets taking the game away from the Kraken. They tie it up on a goal midway through the second and a goal by Robinson. And then Line, who missed a golden opportunity in period number two, goes to Dave Metzold after the second and says, man, that was just a pitiful performance. But he makes up with a goal and the winner in the third. Well, how about this guy? He's the first, or he's the third star of the night, Elvis Merce Lincolns. Strong game again. I mean, he just, he's sharp. He made some great saves, even though it's the wraparound Everly late in the game. And he was there early. There's no no thought of kicking it out. Remember, he used to try to kick it out with his yeah. pads and it created a lot of chaos in front of him. Really collected here tonight. Another great performance. Blue Jacket. Second star, Eric Robinson. As we mentioned, the game time goal in the third period. He is star number two. What a shot. Far corner beating Grubauer, who was exceptional much of the night. And the number one star of tonight's game with the game winning goal at 216 of overtime from your Columbus Blue Jackets, number 29, Patrick Laine. Patrick Laine. He is one honest guy. Said, yeah, that was pitiful, but. He comes back as the overtime hero, and he's going to take a spot near Jody for our post-game interview. I'll send it over to Jody Shelley. Line A with a game winner. Here's Jody. Well, Patrick, congratulations on the first star of the night and the victory. What do you think of tonight's performance? Yeah, I think we played a pretty solid game. Um, they, they played hard, fought hard. Um, we found a way to stuck with it, and uh, obviously a great great two points from us, so got to be happy. Sticking with it, it didn't seem like there was much ice available out there in the offensive zone. Were you getting a little frustrated in the first and second? I did, I'm going to be honest. I uh, got a little frustrated, but um, when you work hard, you're going to get the chances, and now I was lucky to bury that one. What's the thought in three-on-three -three overtime for you when you get out there? I mean, there's a lot more ice. You can use your speed. You ha did have a chance earlier. When you get there, you must be excited for this open ice, are you? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Obviously, uh, it's great for the fans to see uh, see a lot of skill out there, and uh, I think for us, it's just try to be one guy and have a three-on-two or maybe two-on-one, and... Uh, that was exactly what we did, and Z gave me a great pass, and I was able to finish. All right, tell me about that goal. What did you see on Grubauer? You know he's been pretty stingy all night long. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it the whole game, that I just want to go low glove when I get the chance, and I felt like that was a pretty good chance to try to do it, and uh, there was an opening, and I hit it, and game over. All right, Patrick, the best part of the night was when that puck went in. You felt the fans in the building all third period long. What do you think of this crowd being at ice level? You feel the emotion from them? Yeah, I mean, you guys are great. You guys uh, you guys are the best fans in the league, so keep it up, and we'll try to win for you guys. Thanks, Patrick. That's awesome. Congratulations on tonight. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Great job, Jody. Lou Jackets Live, presented by IGS Energy, coming up next. And it was a superb Blue Jackets victory. The game winner by line A will have game highlights, player reaction, and you'll certainly listen to Brad Larson for his post-game comments.